Good morning everyone. Welcome to another session on software asset management. In today's session, we will go through discovery map feature of software asset management. Myself Debajyoti Das from product success team of ServiceNow and I am a product success architect here primarily looking after item module. So this is our safe power statement. So we will look at what discovery map is from software asset management perspective, why we should use it, and then we will see a demo from Washington instance. So discovery map or DMAP in short form basically are configurations which maps the discovery models with the software model. The software model table is the table where authorized software or approved software gets loaded, monitored by the SAM admin or the SAM team. Discovery models are those which gets auto-created based on the software discovered on the installations. And to quickly give you an idea, let's focus on this diagram. This is a high level overview of SAM engine and you could see we have software model entitlement related information mentioned here, then the software model which is connected to the entitlement and then in this portion we have the discovery part. Our discovery or the item solution will discover the softwares from the CIs and will load it in the software installation table and it will then get clubbed under the discovery model. So basically common softwares found for a group of CIs will be clubbed under a discovery model. Now at one hand we have the authorized softwares and the other hand we have the discovery model. Now this connection of software model to discovery model is created by this discovery map. Specifically the product, the publisher, the version, the edition etc. which gets auto loaded when we use DMAP. We will see it later in the demo. So going back, it is basically a field or a reference field in software model table and the column name or the field name itself is discovery map. This field references to discovery map table which is this table and data here is loaded from the content database using our content download jobs. SAM admins or the platform admins will not have any access to create a record in this discovery map table. However, if the SAM admin finds the current existing data does not make sense for their software, they can always create a custom DMAP using which is basically this table. This session will be more on discovery map and its impact. We all know when we create a software model, you can associate it to the respective discovery model by clicking on the related link or the button called show matching discovery within the form. Then I will show you that uh, button or you know link in the demo in a moment. And once you click that button, it tries to pull up all the discovery model based on the matching publisher product version all these fields from the software model. Now you can manually set it in your software model but then if we use discovery map software model will be auto updated with the data from content service. Discovery map also helps in improving your software package signature if it is a bundled or packaged software. We all know softwares like SQL Server or Microsoft 365, Visual Studio, Adobe Creative Suite are parent software and they have child softwares shipped with them. Using discovery map will help the SAM admin to curtail the time needed to validate whether all the child softwares are currently loaded to the parent software or not. DMAP auto loads those ServiceNow recommended child softwares of the parent software from the content service. SAM admin can then update the child softwares based on the contract. Also, 
DMAP loads relevant downgrade rights of the software. It also populates the next version or the higher upgraded version of the software models. And then indirectly, it helps in loading the product lifecycle of the software model. We all know there are two specific SAM jobs which loads the product lifecycle, which actually leverages data in publisher product version, etc. field, which is loaded automatically when a DMAP is used in the software model. On the consideration, one should ensure they are always using the active DMAP while creating the software model. Also, just banking on DMAP for better license compliance of packaged or bundled software model is not completely correct because when you add a DMAP to a package software, the parent software will have its component loaded in the suit components, which is also influenced by the inference percentage and the mandatory field of the suit component. You can refer the documentation on how suit components impact the license compliance, but then DMAP helps you to associate correct child softwares to the parent software. Now, let's dive into a demo from a Washington DC instance. You are now looking at my Washington instance. I have already opened the software asset workspace as you could see and under license operation I have access software models. Now let's create a software model. So as mentioned before, discovery map associates your authorized software models with the discovery models. So when I say so authorized software model, the model that you load in the software model table. Now, as you know, the discovery engine will discover the installations and the software in it and will create the discovery model. Then the discovery map sitting in the software model will associate those discovery model with the software model. To be a bit more specific, the data written in the publisher product version addition field is primarily helps to establish the connection between software model and discovery model and using discovery map these fields will get auto loaded with the service now definition from the content service so i'm using this discovery map and this is a discovery map which is for adobe and product is e learning suit so you could see the publisher, the product, the version uh, got automatically added. Addition has not been set against this map, hence no addition is populated. Now let's save it and the model is created. So we could see this is suit, yeah, and that means the suit components will be populated against this Adobe eLearning suit. This logic is driven from the business rule which is create pre-built suit components and this is the API that primarily creates the suit provided the DMAP contains a suit. How do we know this DMAP contains a suit? And we are talking about this one. And we, you could see suit defined column is set as yes. So the co content team has loaded this DMAP with this signature, identifying this product as a suit. So going back, the moment we to use that DMAP for creation of a software model, we could see suit component has been auto calculated. Now, since publisher product and needed columns has been populated, you could use the matching discovery model to find the needed discovery models that is associated to this software model. Right now, it is from my demo instance since I don't have a data. However, you click here, you could see the filter this has uh, used. Product should be learning, the version should be 2.0, edition is anything, platform windows, language is anything. And it is actually derived from 
the value in this fields. Other important part or role that DMAP plays is population of your downgrade rights. I we don't have a downgrade rights here. So let's create another software which has downgrade rights. So I'm using a Microsoft Discovery Map, this one, and it is a system orchestrator of 2016. And save it. And you could let's see in the downgrade rights, we have two of them loaded. So you could see the downgrade rights are auto loaded for this model. Again, if you can go into the discovery map signature, you could see this map already have a downgrade right associated to it. And if you read the definition of this downgrade right, you should see it is pointing to 2012 R2 along with another downgrade rights, which is to 2012. Now going back to my 2016, uh, model my downgrade right you could see 2012 and 2012 r2 is associated with this software model now if you create an entitlement out of uh, this model you will see this downgrade right carried over to that entitlement as well so i'm just creating this entitlement and Let's use parkour and some random data and save it. So you could see downgrade model have been generated. So now here you could see the, the downgrade rights associated with the model is carried over to the entitlement as well. Thus you could see discovery map will help you in defining your software model in alignment with the content service data. You could see not only this uh, version product publisher um, language edition platform is getting derived from DMAP, but also the suit component, if it is a um, package software, as well as the downgrade rights of the software model. Another important function discovery map plays is defining the entitlement downgrade rights from PPL or the publisher part number. So if we go here and try to create an entitlement from a PPN or publisher part number and let the data get populated. Once it is done, let me put some purchase right and save it. And after saving, you could see the downgrade rights are created and you could see it here so that means what that means if we access the publisher part number table let me go to the part number table and this is the publisher part number table sam psw product definition and access it from the platform and let's search the publisher part number Opening it, you could see the DMAP and accessing the DMAP, you could see the downgrade rights are associated with this DMAP. And this is what has resulted in creation of this nine downgrade rights in the entitlements of Microsoft Visual Studio 2015 Professional Windows when it is created with this publisher part number. Another important feature of DMAP or discovery map is population of the next version. So for which we need to go to the software model and this software model is created with this DMAP and you could see the next version is auto populated here from the DMAP. The Visual Studio is of 2015 version and the next version is 2017.
and if we can look into the discovery map table you could see there is a certain column called next version and if we search for this gmap here it is so 2015 has a next version which is 2017 thus using the discovery map you could populate the next version of your software model with this definition in place when the reconciliation runs it leverages these configurations the suits the downgrade rights to establish the reconciliation result or license position accordingly thus in this video we have learned how discovery map influences sam or license compliance position of your software estate when sam solution is used i hope this information will be useful in your sam journey with this see you in the next video thank you